What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. A few hours ago we got a trailer for the Crimson Front special event that's going live in just a few days and uh, we're gonna go over this trailer and we've also got some roadmap for season 7. It's called the Spring Roadmap I guess and we got that a f I do believe a couple of days ago. We're gonna take a look at the roadmap and then take a look at the trailer for Crimson Front event to see what we've got and uh, what's coming next. So if you enjoy the content, this is the place for you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. And liking the video is gonna really help the channel to be seen and the video to be seen by other players. So do me a favor and make sure to do that as well. So let's get right into this video. So about this roadmap, it's basically called the Spring Roadmap. As you can see, it's explained here what we are going to see in Season 7, which is going to be the final season of Battlefield 2042. If you didn't know, DICE and other studios working on the next Battlefield game are going to completely shift their focus and the resources to basically work on the next Battlefield game and Season 7 is going to be the last one. So yeah, that's going to be it. However, about this roadmap, from April 16th to the end of April, we've got a time-limited event called the Battlefield 2042 Crimson Front and Update 7.1 as well. On April 30, when the Crimson Front event basically comes to an end, the stadium map will be released. In mid-May, without any exact date, we're gonna have update 7.2, and we will get the XFAT for Draugr, the Stealth Bomber, and the DFR Strife, which is the new LMG. From May to June, there will be another time-limited event called Battlefield 2042 Future Strike. Some people are trying to connect this with Battlefield 2142, but I'm just not sure about that. We're basically gonna wait to see some more details about this one. But yeah, this is about the roadmap. But let's jump right into the trailer and see what we've got. Basically, Frontline's game mode is back in Crimson Front's special event. As the Battlefield Twitter account uh, wants to explain about it, they say, push forward, destroy the objectives, hold the line. Frontline's is back in Crimson Front. So it's basically gonna be a 20 versus 20 game mode. And it's gonna be a mixture of conquest and rush, apparently. The attacker team is going to push forward, destroy the MCOMs and hold the line while the defender team, uh, basically, they're just trying to disarm the MCOMs that are armed and hold the line and stop the attacker team from pushing forward, right? Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the whole idea. Haven, Redacted, Discarded and Reclaimed are going to be the four maps that will basically host this game mode. And Ground Warfare is what they are basically focusing on. I do believe the air vehicles are going to be out of the equation, but we're going to have some tanks and probably rams as well. So that's that's about the ground warfare thing. Now, there will be some earnable rewards here. Uh, we, we're going to have the Fractures player card tag. That's one of the rewards. We're going to have the Blood Lotus weapon charm, the Skull Curator DXR1 weapon skin, and Crimson Oath Boris specialist outfit. Those are going to be the rewards. Now, as I said, the event is going to be live from April 16th to the end of April. And then we're gonna have the stadium map probably with some sort of an update, but we don't know anything about that yet. We're gonna have some bundles as well that are going to be available in the store during this special event. The Red Hand bundle, the Stranglehold bundle, the Blood Pact and Crimson Front bundle as a whole. So it's basically gonna be three bundles separated and one bundle to basically buy them all at once. So yeah, that's everything you need to know about the event. But I just don't know how the community is going to react to whatever's going on in this event because the news around Battlefield 2042 have been disappointing recently. I, I, I do believe we had it coming. The end of 2042 was around the corner. I don't know, it kind of felt like it just happened real quick and, you know, things escalated so quickly. But then again, DICE basically promises to continue with the live service. We're going to have awards. We're going to have everything. Things like this event. But the content for Battlefield 2042 is going to end in the mid-season update with the Stealth Bomber and the new LMG coming and Stadium Map. And that is going to be all for Battlefield 2042. So go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Uh, I do want to know what you think about uh, basically the end of 2042 with Season 7 or basically what you think about this new event. Are you excited for this event or is it just going to be another event and they're going to play a few rounds and then basically go back to Conquest, which is the case for myself. Most of the special events in 2042 are actually the same for me. I just go in, play for rewards, literally to make YouTube videos if I do and just get the hell out, go back to Conquest. That's basically my experience with 2042 events. 
So I want to know what your perspective is. Until next time, guys, stay cool.